Living alone has its perks. You wake up when you feel like it, hang out at night, eat when you want, do what you want, when you want. It's great not having to worry about anyone but yourself. But I feel like I want to give back to my community now. So I decided to volunteer at the Masjid Weekend School and teach some kids how to read Arabic and Quran. Some of my fondest memories growing up were at weekend school, so this is going to be interesting considering it will be my first time there not as a student, but as a teacher. I hope the kids don't do to me what I used to do to my teachers. Hopefully not considering I'm friends with their dads. Though it was a little rough in the beginning, I didn't feel that I did too bad of a job. Eventually we got into a rhythm and the kids even seemed to be enjoying themselves. But then towards the end of class, I received a call from a good friend of mine. I could tell the kids were getting bored but I didn't really care too much since their parents were supposed to pick them up in 10 minutes anyway. So I told the kids to just take a break and relax until I finished my call. The call took longer than expected, and when I came back, I was surprised to see only one child there. When I asked him about the other boy, Samir, he said he was bored and decided to leave the mosque alone. Oh no. Oh my god. Though I'll never forget how I felt, the moment was a blur. I didn't know where Samir went or what to do or how to find him. My heart was racing and all sorts of terrible thoughts were going through my mind. Then I remember that I left another child at the mosque, so I had to go back and make sure that he didn't run off as well. As I ran back to the door of the mosque, right in front of me was Samer's father. And he could obviously see I was distressed, so when he asked me what happened, I told him that Samer left while I was on the phone and I wasn't paying attention and I couldn't find him. And at that moment, I'd wished I never even existed. It was a nightmare scene out of a movie. Though the boys were found, Every time I think back to this incident, I get mad at myself for being so irresponsible and for not paying more attention to those kids. I knew that if I had been at work, I wouldn't have answered my phone in the first place. I obviously didn't know what it meant to be in charge of a couple of kids, and I seemed irresponsible in the eyes of Samer's father. He saw me as a teenager who needed to grow up, and he was right, and that was my last day with Samer. When he heard the story, my uncle told me to take it easy on myself, but to realize that responsibility is not limited to parenting or being a husband or a paid employee. We have to be careful with everything and everyone that Allah has put under our care, even if for a moment. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, each of you is a shepherd, and each of you is responsible for his flock. And that day, those kids were my flock, and I failed them. Personal accountability is stressed throughout the prophetic tradition. And we usually think of it solely in terms of spiritual matters like worship and sin. But our social obligations are just as important as our individual ones. The Prophet peace be upon him stressed the importance of avoiding heedlessness whether you were walking on the road and came across something harmful, or hosting a guest, or walking past a neighbor. To pay attention to the rights of people around you, and in fact your entire environment. And when people give you a task or trust you with something, don't disappoint them. Anas anhu says that one time the Prophet peace be upon him sent me on an errand and I got caught up with the other kids and started playing with them. So the Prophet peace be upon him came to me and gently admonished me lovingly saying Unais, which was my nickname, have you delivered what I asked you to? Rasulullah, what would you have said to me that day when I almost lost that child? You taught us to be better than that and to treat every child as our own every place on earth as our home and every stranger like family. Sallallahu alayka ya Rasulullah.